Every second, another person somewhere in the world is infected with tuberculosis, and it's the world's seventh leading cause of death. It killed 1.8 million people worldwide in 2009, up from 1.77 million in 2007, and is one of the three primary diseases closely linked to poverty, with the other two being AIDS and malaria. According to World Health Organization statistics, 9.4 million people developed active TB in 2008. Among the 15 countries with the highest TB incident rates, 13 were in Africa, whilst half of all new cases were in six Asian countries, including Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, Pakistan, the Philippines and China. The People's Republic of China was founded in 1949. China is a country full of rich history and culture. Today there are 56 distinct recognized ethnic groups in China. Traditional Chinese culture covers large geographical territories where each region is usually divided into distinct subcultures. China is the world's most populous country stretching back nearly 4,000 years. Many of the elements that make up the foundation of the world originate in China, including paper, gunpowder, the compass, and paper money. China is one of the world's top exports. In 2011, China overtook Japan and became the world's second largest economy. China is a very overpopulated country. This has led diseases such as tuberculosis, to widely affect the country. At one point it was so bad that one out of two people would die from TB. China, however, has adopted a very good program called DOTS to deal with the disease. Tuberculosis is a disease caused by the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is easily contracted by inhaling infected air droplets spread by active TB carriers when they cough, sneeze, or talk. It is a disease that primarily affects the lungs, but it can also affect the rest of the body, such as the central nervous system or the circulatory system. In the past, another name for it was consumption because of the way it would consume from within anyone who became infected. The main symptom of pulmonary TB is a persistent and worsening cough. If left untreated, night sweats, weight loss, blood and mucus that is coughed up from the lower airways and shortness of breath will also take hold as the lungs slowly deteriorate. Tuberculosis is the leading cause of death from infectious disease among adults in China. 400 million people are currently infected with TB and 1.4 million people develop active TB each year. Every year, China's population takes a huge hit due to TB. For example, in 1990, 360,000 people in China died from the disease. China has the world's second largest TB epidemic, right after India, the progress in tuberculosis control was slow during the 1990s. Detection of tuberculosis had remained around 30% of the estimated total of new cases and multi-drug resistant tuberculosis was a major problem. The people involved in the TB case was HIV positive individuals aged 15 to 59. People with a weakened immune system were also affected. HIV positive and weakened immune system were of higher priority because they were the most at risk to get TB or have latent TB turn into active TB. The IEDC involved 1,208 countries and 12 provinces and a population of 573 million people. Also people with a positive sputum test were high priority. China implemented DOTS, a WHO-regulated TB approach. DOTS is a public health approach. The TB-positive patient is required to take a six-month short course treatment. 
the patient must be observed every day taking the pills. The World Bank and China embarked on a 10-year infectious and epidemic disease control, the IEDC. China also had a short course of chemotherapy. The State Council of China released a 10-year national plan for the prevention and control of TB. The Ministry of Health completed a four-year implementation plan and a work plan. The National Tuberculosis Project Office and a Tuberculosis Control Center was involved in controlling TB in China. this intervention to be successful was that there was already a TB program in place, though ineffective, so they were not necessarily starting from scratch. Another element that helped with the program's success was the incentive given to doctors by the government to engage in the program. Village doctors received a dollar for each patient enrolled in the treatment program an additional $2 for each smear examination carried out at two months in the county TB dispensary, and $4 for each patient who completed his or her treatment. Also, the government of China's commitment to this program is what really allowed it to be successful. Within two years of initiating the DOS treatment plan, China saw a 95% cure rate for new TB cases, beating their own previous goal of a targeted 85%. Total number of TB cases also dropped by an estimated 37% between the year 2000 and 2010. The treatment plan also led to an elimination of over 800,000 cases of TB and a three times lower risk to multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. In order to spread the use of DOTS, more local educators will be needed, and with so many still suffering from the disease, more healthcare workers are also strongly needed in rural communities. 20% of counties in China still have no TB dispensaries, and the plan fell short of the expected case detection rates by about 17% in 2010. In total, China's TB program cost 130 million US dollars, with less than an average $100 spent per person. One life was saved for every $15 to $20 with an economic return of $60 for each dollar invested. China's DOTS program is rated by the World Health Organization to be one of the most cost-effective health interventions. The TB epidemic in China is not only their concern, but all of our concerns due to the fact that it can be spread so easily. So we must all do our part in helping to prevent our own possible tuberculosis epidemic. Some ways to prevent the spread of TB in your household are keeping your house adequately ventilated, teaching proper etiquette and respiratory hygiene to everyone in your household, and getting your child vaccinated with the BCG vaccine. Schmear positive TB patients should also spend as much time possible outdoors, if possible sleep alone in a separate and adequately ventilated room, spend little time on public transportation, and spend little time in large gatherings of people. As a reminder, March 24th is World TB Day. Use this day and any other day of the year to spread TB awareness and do your part in helping to rid the world of TB.